Hey yo, what's up my future AI experts? Let me show you in this tutorial how to save your model and actually how to save the best model. Because you know, sometimes when you train your neural network, let's say for 100 epochs, there are no guarantees that the epoch number 100 will give you the best testing accuracy. Sometimes the neural network can start to overfit somewhere in the middle and the testing accuracy will decrease. So you want to keep track of what's the current best accuracy and save the model and save the state of this model while you're training your neural network. So that in the end you can just return the best uh, model with the highest uh, testing data set accuracy. However, before I start to show you how to do it, let me just quickly do a recap of what we have done in the previous tutorials. So in the previous tutorials, I showed you how to calculate the mean and started deviation of your own image data set so that you can normalize this data set later and also apply some other transforms. Additionally, um, here you can see some transformed images from our data set. After that, I defined three functions. One function was to set the device so that we use the power of our GPUs and the CUDA if, uh, if it's available. Then the function to train the neural network and also there's the function to evaluate the model on the test data set. And after that, you know, uh, we use the ResNet 18 uh, model. We specified some parameters. I already explained everything in the previous tutorials. And yeah, after that, I showed you how to train the neural network. However, we didn't save anything as a file. We didn't save any checkpoints. So now let me show you how to save your model, how to save the best model and also, uh, I will do it by using the checkpoints and I will explain you now what it all means. Okay, okay. so to save the best model, first of all, we need the variable to keep track of what's the best uh, test data set accuracy. So let me just quickly define the variable. After that, uh, we would like to compare this uh, variable with the accuracy on the test data set once we iterate epoch by epoch. Um, so we should do it somewhere here where we evaluate the model on the test data set. However, this function doesn't return anything. It just prints. So let me just return the uh, test data set accuracy. So we can compare and see if the model improved on the next epoch or not. So if the test data set accuracy is greater than our best accuracy, in this case, obviously, we want to update our best accuracy because it's not different. And we want to save the checkpoint of this model. Um, so yeah, we are calling this function called save checkpoint. We haven't declared it yet, but let me do it quickly. And inside this function, we can basically save the checkpoint. Um, so guys, when you're saving the state of your model, basically you can save any information you want. Like in our case, we save the state of the model, but also we save the epoch number, the accuracy score. We can basically save whatever we want and whatever might be useful for us. We can even save some comments, let's say. So whatever you need. But if you just want to save the best model, the only thing which is compulsory is the model itself and the rest is optional. Um, however, there's also another case. In situation when, for example, you want to train your neural network. Let's say you have two hours and you train it for, I don't know how many epochs, but after that you need to run somewhere. Uh, but you want to come back and continue from the point where you have left. If that's the case uh, and, and if that's the reason why you're saving the checkpoint, also, in this case, you need to save the optimizer state as well. Make sure you do it. But if you can train it like for as long as you can, for as long as you want, and you just want to save the best model, then, you know, everything apart from the model itself is uh, optional. Let's train the model for five epoch and let's see um, how we saved our checkpoint now. Okay, okay, guys, so the training is over and right now I can see the model best checkpoint file 
in the same folder as uh, my Jupyter notebook. So we save the checkpoint as a file, everything is good. Let me just quickly validate and load this checkpoint to see if everything is as it should be. Um, yeah, guys, so I just loaded the checkpoint and just printed some stuff which we have stored, for example, the epoch, the comments which we left, and the best accuracy score. So as you can see, it saved the best uh, model on the epoch number five. Let me validate it. Oh yeah, so as you can see, our model achieved the best data set accuracy on the epoch number five. It's 99.265%. Uh, okay guys, so now uh, when we have the checkpoint and we have loaded it, basically we also can save our model um, as a file itself without any extra information. So in the PTH, uh, with the PTH, extension as you would normally do it um, and having a checkpoint we basically need to copy these four lines okay we don't need to specify if it's pre-trained or not pre-trained we just want the architecture of our model but we need to specify the number of classes and the features which we pass here and after that we can just simply um, load the checkpoint of this model so, um, so we are referring to the checkpoint variable which we have loaded, so the file with the checkpoint, and we specify in the model state dictionary, we say checkpoint and then model in the brackets, because when we save the checkpoint state, we gave it name model. So we just specify this, the same name here. Our Resident 18 model right now contains the state of our checkpoint. And after that, we can just simply save this model as a file. Just simply storage.save, then the model name, and we need to give the file name as well. Simply as that, guys. So if we just run it now, and we go to our folder again, we can see here our model. And we saved it as a file in the with the PTH extension. That's it for this tutorial, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please guys, make sure you subscribe to my channel and share my videos with your friends in order to support me. And thanks a lot and I will see you in the next video where I will show you some other interesting stuff. See you guys.